The bad news is that the World Cup is over, but the good news is you can get a great deal on a stadium in Brazil. There's so much to remember about the fantastic 2014 World Cup, including brilliant goals from some of the sport's biggest stars, the emphatic destruction of Spain's Tiki Taka reign, the historic 7-1 beatdown of the host nation by eventual champions Germany, and of course, Secretary of Defense Tim Howard. But for me, some of the best moments happened off the pitch because it's amazing to see a billion people from around the world all united and brought together by 22 dudes just kicking a ball around a field. The World Cup is the best, and I miss it already. Best non-soccer moments of the World Cup. Number one with a bullet, Miguel Herrera reacting to goals. You think you're passionate about soccer? You got nothing on Miguel Herrera. This entire video, I'll be honest, should just be Miguel Herrera reacting to goals. He's so amazing that I actually stopped hating Mexico for like a minute. Number two, bugs. Yes, bugs. From the moths on Jeremy Schaap to the Katie did that hitchhiked on James Rodriguez's jersey for a goal celebration, the World Cup was a constant reminder that Brazil is a terrifying jungle filled with horrible insects. Nice people, though. Number three, sad Brazil fans during that Germany beatdown. Old guy with a trophy was a fan favorite, but I like the guy eating the flag. <laughs> Number four, soccer hair. The variety was incredible. Afros, dye, every kind of mohawk imaginable, and of course, Rodrigo Palacio's rat tail. That is disgusting. Cut it off. And number five, Rihanna. This is wish fulfillment at its finest. Hey, you just won the World Cup. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to party with Rihanna. Done. So there you go, the World Cup may be over, but it's okay. We'll always have Miguel Herrera gifts. <laughs>